right, Allie, I'm going to sit in the AC. You can get the rest of this stuff, right? No. Come on, man. Nope. Too many trees around here. Be snakes and stuff everywhere. Let's get this out of the way. Pretty big. Thing. Be careful. You don't know what's under it. He never looks behind these things, but we have found snakes in these units before. Wow. Oh, hey. No, no. So, yep, cleaning out storage units for pure profit. All right, so, so the first thing we're doing is we're, we're stopping by the store. We got to pick up Bertha, man. Bertha is the backbone of this entire operation. I, I got that old girl doing all my heavy lifting these days. So let's do that, and we'll get back on here and start talking about it. Somebody's calling. Hey, man, we're closed on, we're closed on Sundays. <sighs> all right, where's old girl at? Where's she? Oh, there she is. Hey, and her cousin Bo, too. <laughs> I'm so excited. You ready to go to work, girl? Well, fine, don't speak. All right, guys, we have arrived. We got Bertha here. She's going to be the backbone of this whole entire operation. We, uh, we found our way. This is a new facility to us. Actually, I've been here years ago at actual live auctions, but... So, so the, the reason I'm doing this little section of the clip, because I wanted to get you guys inside my head for a minute. The, the, the biggest reason I did this channel, I started doing this, is because I was thinking, well, you know, maybe, the, maybe there's a way to show them kind of how to, maybe give them some inspiration, you know, something along those lines. Who knows what this thing's going to develop into. Um, so far, I mean, we're having fun. You know, that's what we're doing. That's what it's all about. We're having fun. We're playing around, showing you guys what, it, what it's like out here. But, but anyway, so I get this call yesterday. I don't even recognize the number because I ain't talked to this girl in a while. And it's a girl that worked for the big boys that I do this stuff with all the time. And uh, she says, hey, man, I got, I got a new job. You know, I'm over here working easily at this other facility. And uh, I was just wondering, are you still, are you still cleaning out units? Is that still part of your uh, strategy, whatever? And uh, I said, of course I am. You know me. I mean, I'm always I'm up for I'm up for digging in, digging for treasure, anytime, any day. <laughs> so, so anyway, she said, well, check it out. I got three units over here, over in Easley, and my manager he needs some stuff cleaned out over in Simpsonville. I think that's going to just end up being a different video because the way she was talking was, I'm probably going to fill up my trailer right here in Easley. Um, anyway, here we are. Uh, what, what I really wanted to, the point I wanted to make here was, this is a girl I knew from a couple years ago. She calls me up today and she basically says, dude, I got some money laying over here. So would you like to come and pick it up? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'd like to do that. I'll be right there. So here it is. And we're going to jump in and we're going to see what we get. You know, you never do know. I never got any pictures or anything like that. So she just described it a little bit. So let's get right into it. Let's see what we can make out of it. You excited? I'm excited. We're shooting for furniture. That's what we need the most. Yeah. Furniture. All right, let's do it. I think we're going to fill this trailer. We got three of them to do out here today. All right, let's see what we got. Be careful. I mean, this is right over here. Man, these are actually are not terrible at all, really. Oh, that's good. I'm going to pull this up. one out and let you see it in the light. Is that a king? That's a king. There's two wow. kings. I mean, you know. Kings sell fast. Hey, man, I tell you, it's like I told you before about beds. Man, I got people coming in. I'm just going to tell you real quick. I got people coming in the store, dude, that are sleeping on the floor. They're sleeping on couches. They're sleeping on futons. I mean, they just, they're not comfortable. That's what they're, that's what they're telling me. They're not comfortable. 
they're saying, hey, man, what do you got? You know, what, what, what do you have for beds? And I'm like, just got this king in right here, man. So, I mean, you know what? I mean, hey, if you've ever slept in a motel room, guess what? You slept in somebody else's bed. Tell you what, Ellie, this other king, we got two kings here. This other king doesn't look bad. This one in here, I mean, it looks pretty good. It means it needs a little cleaning up. I got a solution that I run over this thing anyway. <laughs> it's a concoction of non-abrasive chemicals that I do just so I make sure that there's nothing crazy going on with these things. But anyway, this one here, it doesn't look horrible. It definitely looks like it can clean up good. <laughs> if, it, if it doesn't kick your butt first. Right. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that. I mean, definitely a, a little bit of marks down here, but I don't know. We'll, we'll clean it up. We'll see how she goes. All right, question is, Allie, do we have all the box springs to this stuff? Yeah, twin box springs are hard to come by. There's king. the king. Well, I know, but you need two twins to make the king bed. Well, actually, the king is a little longer than a twin. Oh. These are about 78 to 80 inches, typically. Okay. The twins around 76. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's Didn't know that. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, it's technicality. You can make it work, but you prefer to have, prefer to have king box springs. Hey, there's a twin mattress. Actually, it looks super clean. Those normally sell super fast, so. It's an old full size. The whole. I think we got one set of king box springs, Ellie. All right, check this twin out. And let's go out here in the light. This thing looks nice. Yeah. It looks like brand new. Here's the box spring. That's good. Yeah, that's like brand new, man. It'd be a few hundred dollars up the, mm. up the road. Very All nice. right. Very nice. Three beds, man, that we can that we can sell, looks like to me. So what are we looking at? That bottom king is pretty nice. That bottom king's pretty nice, man. Put a set of box springs under, put it on a set of rails. Those are $100. Do the same thing with the other one. Probably another $100. That's a nice, uh, decent single or twin, whatever you want to call it. Put that on a frame. 50 bucks. Yeah, 250 We got to add a little bit to it, but we got that stuff. You know, we were always picking up parts and pieces. Yeah, there's 250 sitting right in there, Ellie. Really. Hey man, honestly, I'm looking at it a little closer here. If you're sleeping on the floor, you're happy to have that. So I don't know. We'll have to get it back and maybe maybe run it through the cleaning process or whatever. Just see, but that's a full size. There are some people looking for full size, so we'll see. This will easily fit in the bed of the truck, so it actually saves room for whatever's coming up. You know, in these next two units we got here, so we'll see. All right, Allie, I'm going to go sit in the AC. You can get the rest of this stuff, right? No. Come on, man. Nope, too many trees around here. Be snakes and stuff everywhere. Be careful. Ellie, it's a hot mess. It is a hot mess. You don't know what's under that stuff. Oh, don't be chicken. Don't be foghorn leghorn. Well, I am. I'm <laughs> Mrs. Foghorn. Thank you. All right. Is this all garbage, Ellie? Let's just cut to unit two because this is all trash. Okay. Ellie, here we are, the second one. We've got a hot mess going in here. Do something with that. Let's see what's in this one. Well, the left side is all trash, so that's why I did it that way. Come on, baby. Please don't be bad. Please don't be, be bad. Easy on me. Please don't be bad. Oh, 
Hmm. You know what? I ain't mad. This looks like a good job for Bertha. Why are the drawers? Do we have all the drawers? Uh, this one's missing a drawer. Mm, be careful behind that chair over there. I don't know, man. I don't know, though. You know, I got them repurposers. You know what they do? <laughs> He's already a little crusty. Not, certainly not the best I've ever got. That might be our only money right there. We'll see how good that, uh, that cleans up. Yeah, this one probably won't make the cut, but I tell you what they do a lot of times, especially on pieces that are solid wood, they'll take this drawer out, they'll put a platform in there, they'll put them, they'll slide them little baskets in there, they'll paint the whole thing, and then they sell it for a hundred bucks or whatever. Probably not even worth their time. These guys that redo them, yeah, I doubt very much this will be worth their time. Probably just go to the junk pile, my wood pile. I think that dresser right there and that china cabinet is the only thing that's just salvageable in here. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, dude, if they clean up good, if they clean up good and I can fix the top on that uh, on that china hutch, mm -hmm. you're probably pushing $100 right there. You know, 50 a piece, potentially. Let's yeah. call it 75 Let's call it 40 bucks for the dresser and another 35 for the china hutch. I know I can sell them for that. That hat should fit right through there. Well, we're running out of room, Allie. Let's hope unit number three ain't too large. We have to strap it to the uh, ladder rack. That looks pretty nice, I think. Yeah, it's not bad. It's too bad that the top's buggered up. But... Mm -hmm. I think we can touch that up, though. Looks better already, doesn't it? Does, it does, it does. We don't have we don't have the other parts. So we can't add it back. No, but we can touch it up with some of our wood stain that we have. Oh yeah, one of these old girls probably buy it and paint it. They love to buy it and paint it. Careful of the cord, you don't trip, baby. It's right under your feet. Hi, right, Allie. Thanks to your muscle, we got her up in here. She's gonna stay in once she's inside. I just gotta maneuver her down this alleyway. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you scare me when you do that. <laughs> Check it out, man. The other parts, that's we good. Able, we might end up being able to fix this thing after all. Okay, good, good. I don't think she's going to make the cut, Allie. No. Come look over here. Look like, uh, she looks pretty rough. She's been chewing on it. Yeah. Goodness gracious, yeah, she's pretty much trash. Yeah, that, pretty that much trash. We'll bring that one right to the dump. We're at the last one now, Ellie. Yay. Well, I hope there ain't too much in this thing, honestly, man, because I certainly don't want to come all the way back here. I don't want to come all the way back here. Let's let's see. Let's hope that it's not. Let's hope we can fit it. Okay. You know what? That's trash. I can see it already, but who cares? That looks like a bed frame. Look at this. Come in here and look at this, Ellie. It looks like they were trying to get into the neighbor's unit here. Great. Look at this. Yep. This isn't cool. No. Huh. They were definitely trying. I'm sure I'm sure the, the office manager will see that. I mean, or whatever. But anyway, whatever. Let's see what we got here. This looks like a king bed, Ellie. Let's get this out of the way. Pretty first big. Thing. Be careful. You don't know what's under it. Oh. Now that's definitely trash. We'll deal with that in just a minute. Yeah, that's disgusting. Nasty. 
again. People store stuff or let's just throw it let's throw it around here for a minute. Let's see what this bed looks like. I mean it's not terrible so far. It's got a few days. Yeah, you know, it needs a little cleaning. Yeah. I can do the cleaning. Be careful. That is like fabric, Ellie. That's hmm. not that pleather stuff. Really? That's why it's not peeling off. Okay. That's a, that's I was wondering. Right hmm. These are the side rails. That is a big bed. That doesn't look bad. That looks good. All right. Ballard Designs Upholstery Collection. I bet this... This is a king, man. Yeah. I bet this thing wasn't cheap, dude. No, I doubt it, dude. Probably $899 on sale. All right. Let's see if we can be four for four in the bed department here. He never looks behind these things, but we have found snakes in these units before. Wow. How's she look, Ellie? She looks good. Doesn't look bad? No. Yeah, she's a little, she's going to need a, Good need cleaning. Upholstery cleaner on there. Yeah. Right? But the hooks are all there. Yes, that's what I, I was looking at. Yeah. We'll see how she cleans up, man. I, I think this is going to come together real nice. Like, you got a king frame. Put your best king bed on there. Man, you done fooling around. You might have yourself a $200 bill all sitting right there mm -hmm. together. Is that a leaf or is that a little rip up there? Okay, cool. It's just a leaf. Good, good. All right, let's see if she'll fit. Ellie. Ellie. Yes. You ever seen any slats? Those are slats. Wow. Check no. Those are huge. Yeah. That's what you oh. need. I that's bet. what everybody should be doing, man. All these designers, man. That's what you need under a king bed. You yeah. Handles right there. Man, I love it. That's nice. All right. Well, that concludes today's episode. I mean, it wasn't bad. I mean, we got here around one. It's 2.30 now. I mean, even with, you know, it would have been a lot quicker if we weren't doing all this video stuff, but whew, I mean, I'm glad it's over with, to be honest with you, man. I don't think we did too bad. I know, I know we got over $300. We had at least $300 worth of stuff today, so certainly worthwhile. We'll throw a little bit of this trash away, and actually, uh, we're going to go back out, maybe not tomorrow, but definitely Tuesday at the latest. We got another one over there in Taylor's, and we got that one in Simpsonville, got to call that manager on so stay tuned we got more coming your way